Ex-FBI Director Comey just lost everything after his sickest secret yet gets at about what he hid in NY. Back in the good old days, traitors to this country were hanged for treason. Fast forward to today and not only are treasonous politicians still in office, but they're leading illegal acts of sabotage against our president and lying under oath. After recently learning that FBI Director James Comey predetermined the outcome of the investigation into Hillary Clinton's private email by not even investigating her, the time for this slimy weasel to continue his illegal antics against this country is unfortunately for him now coming to an abrupt end. Comey's illegal escapades began during the Senate Judiciary Committee last year where he lied under oath about Hillary Clinton not being guilty of using her private email server to store classified and above top secret documents. He's popped his head at several times this year making various appearances before congressional committees to discuss issues where he's constantly made contradictory or false statements while under oath, defiantly disregarding his position to uphold the law. Now there's an active movement to get this crooked man disbarred from being able to practice law for the rest of his life, according to a breaking report from the The Washington Times. As such, an attorney named Ty Clevengers has filed a grievance with the New York Bar Association against Comey, where he used to serve as a U.S. attorney and still retains a license to practice law, Conservative Tribune reported. They went on. The heart of the issue outlined in Clevenger's grievance is the fact that Comey testified during a September 2016 hearing that he had not predetermined the outcome of the investigation into former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's private email server prior to his announcement that there'd be no criminal charges in July 2016. That assertion has since been proven false by the revelation that Comey had prepared draft statements exonerating Clinton of wrongdoing several months prior to interviewing her or more than a dozen others associated with the scandal. This rather important discrepancy was discovered by the Senate Judiciary Committee as they looked into Comey's handling of the Clinton investigation and subsequent termination by President Donald Trump and was noted in an August 2017 letter sent by committee chair Senator Chuck Grassley to FBI Director Christopher Wray seeking confirmation, which while heavily redacted, was nevertheless recently produced. Insofar as Mr. Comey gave materially false testimony to Congress, it appears that he violated Rules 1.0 W, 3.3 A, 1, and 8.4 of the New York Rules of Professional Conduct wrote Clevenger in his grievance letter to the Bar's Departmental Disciplinary Committee. Clevenger's letter also sought to renew prior grievances he had filed against former Attorney General Loretta Lynch regarding the potential pressure and interference she exerted on Comey over the investigation and alleged destruction of evidence in the case, such as laptops possessed by Clinton associates. Clevenger has also filed a separate grievance with the Maryland State Bar and got a circuit court judge to order the association to open an investigation into three of those Clinton associates, David Kendall, Cheryl Mills and Heather Samuelson, who are alleged to have deleted emails and destroyed their laptops which contained pertinent information regarding Clinton's email scandal, according to Zero Hedge. Comey isn't the only crooked politician in hot water right now. His master and puppeteer Hillary Clinton is at the center of her own little scandal this week after the FBI finally confirmed that she worked a scheme with the Russians to transfer 20% of our country's uranium to Vladimir Putin's companies in the United States in exchange for a hefty donation to her Clinton Foundation to the tune of $145 million. Hillary's blatant treason against the United States through her bribery, kickbacks, extortion, and money laundering with Vladimir Putin's atomic energy business should have been a big enough scandal to send this crooked woman to prison, but thanks to crooked individuals like Comey constantly blocking justice, she's been able to get away with her crimes for years. How epic would it be for Comey to not only lose his position with the FBI, but be prevented from practicing law for the remainder of his life? It will be interesting to see if Comey does wind up being disbarred, or if Hillary Clinton will swoop in and kill someone or pull some strings to save his career. Career.